guys, thanks so much for watching I Am Grounded. So we just finished today's game, which went exceptionally well. I think it's fair to say that we did win. Oregon definitely took the gold today. I also have with me some really good friends in probably one of the oldest, second oldest or oldest, probably the oldest team here in the Pacific Northwest, Spec Deck. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Get one. So they have yeah. some events coming up. Tell them who you are and what event you have coming up. Okay. Oh, I'm Barrett on Spectet. I will not release my handle because no one wants to hear that. <laughs> uh, we've got an event coming up June 22nd. It's going to be Narco or Narco State Cocoa Road. It's going to be an introductory game to Milsim. So to get people kind of more familiar with the sport. So there's going to be squad-based tactics. There's going to be missions. There's going to be like actual structured gameplay as opposed to just like, hey, there's a guy behind that tree. Let's go shoot him. We're hoping to get a lot of people into the Milsim sport, and not everyone's comfortable dropping 200 bucks to go out to a Milsim West game, which is totally worth it, but if you've never played Milsim before, it's going to be incredibly overwhelming for you. So what we want to do is get that Milsim event going out here in Oregon, you know, at a much more reasonable price point that everyone could be familiar with and, you know, enjoy. And then uh, after Narco Road, we're going to have Summer Slaughter 10 coming up in July. And I'm going to let Andy talk about that because he can talk about it beautifully. Well, I don't know about beautifully, but thank you. Uh, this is Andy Gross. I go by short bus on the field. Some I mean, of you know me. I do some crazy stuff out there. Um, to say the least. To say the least. Yeah. Um, we like to have a good time. Uh, anyway. Uh, Summer Slaughter, a lot of people know about it. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't. This is our 10th year putting it on. We really enjoy putting it on. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun getting out there with all the all the new people and getting them immersed in what's going on. Um, it, those that aren't familiar with it, it's more geared towards the newer players. We do 18 hours of gameplay over the course of three days for 40 bucks. We have all the local vendors come out, set up booths. We have a big swap meet, so some of the older players and the newer players that have gear that they're not using anymore uh, come out. They sell it at really good rates, so it helps get some of the newer players set up. Um, uh, they sell guns, they sell gear, they sell whatever kit. They, they're just vendors selling ammo, they're selling new guns. You name it, it's there. Um, it's on the 12th, 13th, 14th of July. Um, like I said, 18 hours, three days, 40 bucks. There's a game in the morning on Saturday. Was everybody's involved in. Then we kind of split up into mini games, split up over the course of the entire field, so people can kind of pick and choose the type of gameplay they want. Um, have 11 to 12 admins out there running around, running the whole thing. Um, where can you, I sign up? Where can we sign up? Facebook. On Facebook. We spec do all the one. through Facebook. Uh, spec debt one on Facebook. Um, we we'll have the registration here. You don't have to pre-sign, but it really does help us out for our planning. Um, uh, Phantom Fury comes out. They help us sometimes and do a great job helping us and being a help anywhere we need. I plan to. Uh, JD plans to. JD always plans to because uh, JD's freaking awesome. Um, and we really look forward to this year. We got a couple of extra special things planned for this year since it is our 10th anniversary of running the game. 10 and years? 10 freaking years. Wow. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's gone by pretty quick, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it has. Um, so we want to see everybody come out and have a good time. Uh, any questions asked, we're always more than help, happy to help out. We'll have sandwich boards out with game schedules so you don't always have to walk around asking everybody what's going on if you don't have it saved on your phone. It's readily available everywhere. Um, believe we got food get this year. We have a food vendor. Um, what else do we have? What am I missing? Um, I don't think you mentioned the raffle, which is always... Oh, that's so true. We have the sponsors do donating stuff for the raffle. Um, we've had... I don't remember how many AEGs we gave, last, gave away last year. We gave away quite a bit of stuff, though. Uh, the raffle took a good, what, half hour, 40 minutes to get through. There's the guns we're donating, too. Uh, yeah, we have... Are we announcing that now? I don't see why not. Uh, we're announcing that now. Well, Spect, well, Spectet, out of appreciation for people supporting our, our 
our events for so long. Uh, we're going out and buying a an SMG or an LMG, the classic army, the classic army stoner, and we're buying two K HK 45s, and we're having them engraved with a Summer Slaughter 10 um, on them, um, and. Thunderkiss is taking care of us for the engraving on that. Thank you, Thunderkiss. Nice. Um, those that don't know, Thunderkiss has an engraver, so if you want to get your stuff engraved, take it up there, hook them up. Um, so, like I said, out of appreciation for being supported for so long in our events and stuff, we wanted to give back and and just be, you know, make everything friendly and happy. So. Perfect. Cut. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, you guys. Don't forget, also, if you're on Canada, if you're planning on flying to Canada and you're wanting to buy Premier Airsoft equipment, make sure you visit Tactic Airsoft using the discount code Tactic Correction using the discount code Granted Discount at checkout for an additional 25% savings over. Um, but did you, I, the Washington Commanders right over here, did you want to say something, Jeremy? Did you guys win today? Come I'm curious. On, Jeremy. Did you win? Come on. Come on, Jeremy. Jeremy. So this is the Washington Commander. Jeremy, tell us more about you and your side and did you guys win today? I heard you did, but I'm just Well, we don't know yet. From the official word, we have no clue just yet. Okay. In so, everybody's a winner. Exactly. <laughs> we all exactly. got we all got participation trophies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So I'm Jeremy, the commander of the uh, Washington Forces, um, trying airsoft as well. Uh, appreciate it. Hey, I, I think this is our very first interview. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yep. It's, it's going to be on TV. It's ours, yeah. too. It's yeah. theirs, too. Yeah. So we've been friends for, for a while now. A long time. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Since Rylea, which I don't remember. All the Rylea's are coming all together. They do. Yeah. After a while, they all blend together. Yeah. Um, so, so, what team you belong with, and how long you been playing airsoft? I've uh, been I'm Trident, uh, the commander of Trident, for eight years now. So we worked out from California was our very first. Oh. So we had we had a team down there. Yeah. So now we have a sister team, Misfits, from Cali. Oh. So they came up to the second Camp Riley event. Yeah. So they drove up from California. Rest in peace, Riley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> and it now came up to Washington, retired from the military. And up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Thanks for coming down and playing with us. Of course. I love, love it, love it. I know. Me too. <laughs> I'm actually due to go up to some games. Some, uh, forest? Something forest. Forest fire. Forest fire. I want to go there. I keep seeing a lot of posts. You, you will have a blast. Like, yeah, really? from where it used to be was barely anything, uh -huh. but till now, when uh, Dale, the owner of um, Nighthawk, from right, Spokane. Nighthawk. Yeah, yes. is Nighthawk no longer a thing? No, Nighthawk is a thing Nighthawk's still. Nighthawk's still a yes. thing. There was a field that closed down, and then they're going to reopen under a different name, but I wasn't sure if it was like USA Airsoft or something like that. Yeah, no. Nighthawk's over in Spokane. Oh, I'm going to have to go to Nighthawk. So I'll there, put the address here, Nighthawk. <laughs> yeah. Road trip. Road trip. Yeah, road trip. <laughs> You'll definitely compare what they did to the field now. Dustin, he's one of the, the uh, field runs the fields and stuff like that yeah um trenches i mean trenches you're going through uh bridges i mean there's a lot of stuff there we have a blast oh nice we have a blast beautiful well, thanks. so Thank oh and one more thing yeah trying is hosting their very first mill sim event at nighthawk in spokane when october 5th oh that's good to know it'll be posted here somewhere just uh there yeah yeah there there you go beautiful <laughs> All right, October 5th. October 5th. Try it. And is this your first event you guys are hosting? Not mine. It's it, theirs. Theirs. So when, for Nighthawk, because they never had a Milsim type event, yeah. and then Dale's been wanting to do one for so long. So now he gave us the opportunity to do, host one for him. Post it on the AP website, so I'll remember. Will do. Perfect. Thank you. Well, there you have it, you guys. For all things that's going on here in the Pacific Northwest, whether you live in Washington, whether you live in California, or you live in Oregon, make sure you visit airsoftpacific.com from buy, sell, trade, forum, calendar of events, anything that's going on and abroad, make sure you visit airsoftpacific.com. Until then, my friends here from Trident and Spec Debt One, uh, you guys stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the field, and make sure you check your local fields. Bye.